Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to transfer files to and from your server using SFTP. So in the last tutorial what we did is we set up our SSH keys so we can actually connect to our server and in this tutorial what I did is I just made a couple quick files resembling some kind of website so this is the home page and I also made another directory that just has some other uh, quick web page in there and we need to get these files to our web server so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use SFTP which is kinda like FTP hold on a second there is this truck in front of my house who's delivering furniture to someone and they've been there for like half an hour and it's freaking annoying but anyways SFTP is a lot like FTP but it depends on the SSH protocol so make sure you have your key set up and you're ready to hop into this video so it's incredibly easy to connect to your server using SFTP so just type SFTP that's the protocol and then what computer are we trying to connect to so root that's the username and this is the address of our server so it's kinda you know a lot like SSH we just use F SFTP instead and boom look at that since our keys are already set up we don't have to do anything weird no passwords we're connected how awesome is that so just to make sure that we're in the root directory of our server at first, let's just do cd dot 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 and have to do ls minus la. Alright, so we're now in the root core directory of our server. Now if you guys aren't familiar with Apache, where all of your uh I'll show you where all of your web page files are supposed to go are in the HTML directory and in order to get to that use cd var www.html so from here if you do ls minus la you can see that we have two files in here by default and these were just sample files that whenever we got the server from DigitalOcean they gave us these two files you know just so we have something to look at so this index.html file that's what we're looking at right here but of course we want to replace it with our own so what we're going to do first is we're going to take this index.html file from our desktop and this is the one that I made and I'm going to put it on my server right there so how do we do that it's actually really easy make sure that you're in the right directory so pwd yes that's where I want to put it and now you just write put and then type in a file from your own computer so that file that I just showed you guys was on the desktop and it was called index.html so what this is going to do is it's going to put this file into whatever directory I'm at which is the main HTML file so just hit enter and boom look at that so now if I refresh my server look at that I forgot I actually wrote that but uh yeah so this is my home page uh you know how beautiful of a design is that and if you guys ever want to take an entire directory and move it in there at once instead of just doing one file at a time again there's only one file in here but there can be a hundred if you want then I'll show you how to do that so again make sure that you're in the HTML file and then we first need to actually make a directory so I'm gonna make dir and I'm gonna make a directory called books so what this is going to do is it's going to make a directory called books on our server. So now that we have our directory, we can start putting all of the contents of books into that directory, that newly created directory on our server. So put minus r, and I'll explain that in a second, desktop books. So what this minus r flag does is it says okay we're gonna put this directory onto our server but we're also gonna put it recursively that means anything that's inside it we're also going to add to the server so it not only adds the directory but all the files inside it as well so boom look at that once I hit enter it adds books and all of the files inside it so now if I go to books and what did I name it? Harry.html. And hit enter. 
look at that. So if you just want to enter one file, then you don't need that minus R. But if you want to enter um, a directory recursively, in other words, a directory and all the contents in it, then use that minus R flag. So now we got some files on our server, and I'll show you guys something cool. So let me delete these. So we don't have any files on our desktop anymore. They're only on the server. And I just deleted those because I want to show you guys how to download them now that I showed you guys how to upload them and it's really easy so what you need to do instead of put you write get so let me show you guys this so ls minus la alright so right now on our server we have index.html books and we also have another file inside books so let's say we want to take this index.html which is this file and we want to download it onto our own local computer so we just write git what file do we want to get index.html and now after this we need to say where on our computer do we want to put it well let's just put it on the desktop again so desktop slash index.html so let me move this so you guys can see what happens whenever I hit enter so I'm gonna hit enter and check it out it's gonna get this file and it's gonna put it right here desktop.index.html now if you guys ever want to download an entire directory onto your own local computer then I'll show you guys how to do that so let me move back up one directory and alright so I'm looking at my server and I actually want to take this entire HTML file and I want to plop it on my desktop so what I can do is I can write git minus r remember that means not only that folder but everything inside it as well HTML, it's the only folder we can download. And where do you want to put this whenever you download it? Well, how about the desktop? So hit enter and check it out. It's going to go on our server, get everything inside the HTML directory, and download it to our desktop. So check that out. So pretty cool. That is how you use F S FTP, kind of a tongue twister, to upload and download files. Um, just practice a couple times, you'll get the hang of it, but thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, see you guys next time.